Hi, I'm Senator Alex Padilla, and I have the honor of representing California in the United States Senate. As the first Latino to represent California in the Senate, I'm keenly aware of how much we need diversity in the institutions that shape our society. I'm also a proud graduate of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology with a degree in mechanical engineering and a past member of SHIP. I've been in your shoes and I know firsthand the value of the STEM education that you're pursuing. I grew up in the proud working class neighborhood of Pacoima, California, where I attended public schools. You know, my parents are immigrants from Mexico. They came in the 1960s and they always stressed to my sister, my brother and me, the importance of getting a good education. My parents' lessons and sacrifices inspired me to pursue my education at MIT, where I earned my degree in mechanical engineering. Now, after graduation, I returned to California, looking forward to the start of my career as an engineer. But I found a different kind of problem calling to me at home, the political challenges to my community. Believe it or not, I saw politicians on TV demonizing immigrants like my parents for a political gain. This was back in 1994. Now, their words did not reflect the reality that I knew of dedicated, hardworking family and friends. So I entered public service to make sure that voices from my community were represented at the tables where important decisions are made. I ran in my first election for the Los Angeles City Council when I was just 26 years old. As a young man of color with a STEM degree, I sometimes wondered if I belonged in electoral politics, but I knew that my experiences gave me a unique perspective. Today, I'm honored to bring that unique perspective on behalf of California to the United States Senate, and I'm proud to advocate for the life-changing power of STEM education. I want to open opportunities for Latino students in STEM because the critical thinking and problem-solving skills you learn are valuable in any career and because we need more Latinos in STEM jobs. According to the Pew Research Center, no group faces a larger representation gap in STEM jobs than Latinos. That in turn contributes to pay gaps for Latinos, and it affects our national competitiveness. Diversity in the research environment drives scientific discovery. That's why I'm supporting a government-wide push to increase equity in STEM education. A more diverse STEM pipeline is key to maintaining America's leadership in innovation. I've advocated for funding to improve STEM education at Hispanic serving institutions and to build new partnerships between top research universities and minority serving institutions. I'm also working to ensure that federal departments and agencies like NASA prioritize equity in their outreach and engagement efforts. Finally, I'm working to support college affordability reforms so that students can focus on earning their degrees without fear of hunger or eviction. Expanding access to higher education is the first step of many to making the American dream more attainable for all. As we work to build Latino leadership in the STEM sector, I ask that all of you make the most of this convention. Reach out and connect with members that you may not already know. And remember, as you continue to advance in your careers, pay it forward. Use the skills you learn to mentor and uplift other Latinos in engineering so our progress continues. Thank you for your time today, and please enjoy the convention.